Hi guys, welcome back to my channel as told by Muriel. I am Muriel and I'm a registered nurse of a little over a year. Prior to, I was a licensed practical nurse of 17, 18 years. On today's video, I'm going to discuss, we'll try to help some of you guys decide, is it worth it to go to school to get your LPN? registered nurse of a little over a year my main focus area of work is long-term care although I have worked in um, the hospital uh, level one trauma facility on a medical surgical floor prior to though I was an LPN and I will get my thoughts on going to school for your LPN um, I know a lot of people you know uh, they're kind of on the fence should they go to school for nursing shouldn't they go to school for nursing is it worth even going to get your LPN and to this I will say it is very much worth it like I said in my intro, I was a licensed practical nurse um, for 18 years. I became a nurse in 2001. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I became a nurse in 2001. And from 2001 until 2019, I was a licensed practical nurse. During that time, I worked primarily in long-term care. Uh, what I will say about the field is it has changed so much as far as it um, seems like the people have just gotten sicker and sicker over the last 20 years. So a lot more um, a lot more responsibilities are being placed on nurses, registered nurses, as well as long as long as well as LPNs. I started off my career in the hospital, and that was during the time when they were saying, um, you know, they're going to start phasing nurses, um, LPNs out of the hospital. Well, I worked in the hospital, but I left the hospital myself because I didn't like the fact of having to ask RNs to do things for me. Um, you know, there are certain things that LPNs can't do that RNs can do. Like, I, LPNs are not allowed to give IV push meds. LPNs are not allowed to start the initial administration of blood products. I know there are some RNs who are specialized in, like, um, placing pick lines um, and things like that, and LPNs are not allowed to do that. Uh, but and their LPNs are not allowed to actually LPNs are not allowed to teach patients they're actual teaching the patients um, they're saying LP, you know it's, it's the scope of practice is is out of the LPN scope of practice to actually teach as well as do an initial assessment although some of you you know when we are working like in long-term care even in the hospital um, you know the LPN kind of does do the initial assessment um, but it takes the RN to come behind them and actually sign, actually sign it off, you know, check to make sure everything is correct. Um, and it was that, you know, having to ask the RNs to do things for me, that was something that I didn't like working in the hospital. You know, those are my patients. And then say, you know, I would forget to ask them to do something and you go to them later on and be like, oh, I forgot to ask you. Or, oh, I forgot to tell you I got this IV push um, medication and room, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, sometimes I get a little bit of pushback and a little attitude from the RNs. So that, for one, that was one of the um, cons about becoming an LPN was the fact that I had to, in the hospital setting, it was so much I relied on the RNs to do. Um, but when I got a long-term care, I was basically the charge nurse on my floor. You know, there are more um, long-term uh, long care predominantly um I'm not going to say predominantly employees, but it just seems like there are more LPNs in long-term care than there are RNs. And so I was like the charge nurse of my floor. There was nothing really on the long-term care facility that I couldn't do, so I didn't have to rely on others so much, you know, to do things for me. Um, but what I will say is getting my LPN, it really changed my economic status. Um, even way back then in 2001, when I got my LPN license, I went from making like, I think I was making like $7 and something an hour to making $11 and something an hour plus shift differential. I think my shift differential, it put me over to like $14 an hour. Um, you know, so that was uh, that was a lot of money back then. Um, I was able to provide provide for my family, and actually, when I left the hospital, because when I got my LPN, I started in the hospital, and I went to a long term care facility. I actually was making more in the long term care facility. I think back then, I think I went in the long term care facility like in 2002, because I didn't stay with the hospital long. And I think when I started in 2002 in long in long term care. For day shift, I was making like $15 an hour. So, you know, that was a difference of, you might as well say $4 because on day shift at the hospital, I would only get paid $11.30. Day shift in the nursing home, I was getting $15 an hour. So as far as, um, 
As far as pay, you know, typically LPNs do not get paid as much as RNs, but LPNs do get paid a good salary. I think now coming out of schools, most places, uh, say long-term care facilities are starting LPNs anywhere for like $23, $24 an hour. Um, I know the hospitals, you know, for some reason the hospitals always pay less. I don't know why. But LPNs are going in the hospital and they're making, I think they're starting off with like 20, anyone from 21 to $22 an hour. But if you work night shift, you get the night shift different some hospitals I think it's like three three dollars an hour a night shift differential and then you work a week and sometimes it's additional like two to three dollars an hour um, differential so as an LPN going into the hospital depending on what shift you make you could possibly make up to like twenty six dollars an hour now as an LPN going in long-term care um, brand new like I said they're they're starting them with like 23 24 but there are there are even some facilities that are starting you with like 27 28 dollars an hour um in long-term care as an LPN so you know as far as finances and your economics the money is there to be made as an LPN um now do you think that you'll be an LPN and you'll be considering going back for your RN so here's the question if you think you're going to be going back for your RN um I will say LPN is still worth it. I, like I said, I was an LPN for so long, and when while I was an LPN, you know, that income is how I purchased my home. It's how I fed my children for 18 years. Um, I wasn't even, I'm not even going to say I was just surviving. I was, I was actually thriving. I was living. Um, I was able to sustain off of what I was making as an LPN. And, you know, someday you may decide that you want to go back to school for your RN. Well, it'll be a little easier for you if you have worked as an LPN, only because you'll know some of the basics in, when it comes to um, some of the basic medical terminology. You'll know um, anatomy of the body. You'll know physiology of the body. You'll know some of these medications. So things will come a little easier to you when it comes to, you know, things like that as far as some of your classwork now. When it comes to writing those papers, being an LPN ain't going to help you write the papers. But uh, as far as any, you know, the just the root and stem of tests and all that having your LPN will you know it should it will help you it'll give you a little boost when you go back for your RN um, I know a lot of people are out you know the saying is that LPNs are not real nurses and you know because even when I was an LPN and I'll tell people you know I'm an LPN the first thing out of their mouth was but well, when you gonna go back and get your RN you know, and you know, you know, not everyone wanted, wants to go back and get their RN. Um, I did go back and get my RN. And the reason for me doing that is, um, I'm not even gonna lie, it was like a, uh, it was a bit of a ego thing for me. Um, because I was making, like I said, I was making good money as an LPN, but I just felt like the scope, it was more, it was, it was just, the employment opportunities were just, uh, it was a wider area for a person with their RN, um, the pay, you know, when you, if you're trying to decide between LPN and RN, you know, the pay is going to be substantially better as an RN. Um, but anyway, this is not, this is not a video about an RN. This is just trying to, you know, see if, if you want to know, is it worth getting your LPN? I will say it absolutely is worth it. Um, you will never have to worry about having employment. And now that's one thing I can say about this field. The times that I have been out of work, it's because I wanted to be out of work. There was never a time when there wasn't a job that was hiring for LPS. You can go on Indeed and there's and type in search job LPN. Oh my goodness. LPNs are working in so many different fields now. You can be an LPN working in home health. You can be an LPN doing MDS Um working in MDS in the nursing home. You can be an LPN working in the hospital because like I said, they've started rehiring LPNs in the hospital. You can be a traveling LPN. You know, a lot of people just think that you have to have your RN to travel, but there are LPN contracts out there. Um, so you can get, you know, get a piece of the action where you're taking contracts and, you know, you're getting paid stipend, a stipend for your meals and housing. And that is... Um, that is non-tax, like you cannot be taxed that. So that is, just, you know, they don't even count that as far as in your income. Um, so yeah, that's a big, big plus. That's one of the reasons why I took a traveling con contract and having that income that's non-tax, that can't be taxed, 
Not that it's non-tax and I'm going to have to pay taxes on it next year. No, that income cannot be taxed. That's non-taxable income. It's going to be such a big, you know, a big um, boost for me as an RN and someone as an LPN because um, their LPNs are out there. They're grossing $100,000, you know. They're, I've known an LPN who, who's gross over $100,000. Also, as far as getting your LPN, Another reason that I would say getting your LPN is worth it is because you have a better understanding if you're someone who from here to the next 30, 40 years, especially in the United States, we are some un unhealthy people. <laughs> you know, I hate to say it, but we are some unhealthy people. I myself, you know, I'm trying to lose some weight myself because I am considered morbidly, no, I don't think I'm morbidly obese. I may be considered morbidly obese. I don't know. I know I'm considered obese. But Americans, um, by large, are an unhealthy group of people. And as long as they're unhealthy, unhealthy people in, in, this, in the United States or in other countries, they're going to be a need for nurses. So you never have to worry about job security as an as an LPN. Um, oh, and you don't, and also LPNs, they don't necessarily have to work at the bedside. Now, that's another thing. A lot of, a lot of people are nurses and they just, you know, they decide they don't want to work at the bedside. As an LPN, you don't, you don't have to be at the bedside. You know, they have insurance agencies, um, such as Blue Cross Blue Shield. They hire LPNs to work in their insurance agencies. And that's like an eight to four or nine to five job. Sometimes you can get it where you're working, working from home. Like you're not even on a site anywhere so the it's just as flexible as far as your work options for an LPN as it is for an RN. Now what I will say is anyone who has their LPN or is thinking of going to school for their LPN, I congratulate you, I applaud you. I did it uh, myself and I didn't even know how much that would just change my life going to school for my LPN because like I said, I, there was not like I said, there were not any nurses in my family that I knew of, and so I didn't know how becoming an LPN would really help my family. Even though I had my lazy moment, if, if anything I need to do for my family, I can just go pick up a couple hours because there are always hours available um, out there. And you pick up a couple hours and you can get things done. Um, normally, going to school for an LPN can be anywhere from 12 months to I'll say two years, depending on the type of schooling you. Um, the type of schooling, the type of schooling you attend. I went to a technical college and it took me, now this is back in 2001 and I believe they added some prereqs since then, but it took me 18 months because I only had, I think six prereqs I had to take. So I took those in the span of two semesters, the spring and the summer semester. And by the fall, that August, I was in my program. The program was only a 12 month program. The next year in August, I was I was graduating. Um, so yes, I encourage anyone to go out there and get their LPN. And I'm not saying that, you know, you necessarily have to stop there. I encourage you to go as far as you can go, you know, as far as, as far as you want to go. Don't limit yourself. Go as far as you want to go. Um, I know when I was an LPN, I had dreams of becoming an RN. Um, when I graduated my LPN, I told myself at five, well, by the time I turned 30, that I would go back to school for my RN. Turned 30, went back to school, left school, like didn't complete it. It took another six years to get me to actually go, um, go and try again. And I went and tried again and I got my RN. Now there's, um... Uh, there's not there's not a whole lot of difference in being an RN and LPN. You know, you go to school, they'll try to tell you there's a lot of a whole lot of you know, like it's so much of a difference. There really isn't much difference as far as the work is combined. I like I said, I work in long term care unit and I'm working alongside LPNs and we're doing the same job. There's nothing you know that I'm doing that they can't do. There's sometimes some paperwork that I have to sign that they can't sign, but other than that, we're doing the same job. We're still colleagues you know it's really no different if they have an opening in a position on a job I can apply for it as an RN just as well as they can apply for it as an LPN if they have more knowledge than me because yes there are LPNs out there who have more knowledge than RNs you know it depends on where you work like someone who work home health is not going to have the same knowledge on uh, uh, work skills as someone who worked in the hospital there could be an LPN in the hospital who and an RN who's never worked in the hospital that may know more about that who would definitely know more about um 
like monitoring blood transfusion. They're going to know more than what you know. So it's not like a competition to test the knowledge, who knows this or who knows that. It's all about just working together, helping each other. And LPNs and RNs can do that all the like. It's up to you. If you decide you want to go for your RN, you know, do it. Great. If you decide it's not for you, that's great as well. But I'm just on this video to tell you, yes, it is definitely worth getting your LPN. If I can, can you know, you got to have... You got to have a lot of patience. Um, you got to be, a, you have to have compassion. You have to have a lot of patience. Um, like I said, um, when I got in nursing, I didn't know anything about nursing. Our nursing was, you know, I, I wasn't one of those. So I'm not going to get on here and lie to you and be like, I have always wanted to be a nurse. Ever since I was young, I thought about helping people. I just, you know, my so-and-so and my family was a nurse. And it just was my calling all my life. No, this, you know, I never wanted to be a nurse um, growing up. I kind of fell into nursing like by chance. You know, I was a CNA first. Didn't even know what a CNA was before I went to school for it. I just knew I had, at that time I had two kids and I knew I couldn't work, you know, to Pizza Hut gas stations and take care of them the rest of my life. Then I had a third child. So definitely I was, you know, going for one career, ended up doing another, but I learned on a job as will everyone else learn on the job. Um, I have patience. I have compassion. Those are some things you, you know, you can have as a human being without being a nurse. So, and those are two things that I had. So I ended up, you know, this ended up being a great field for me and, you know, I fit in and I do my work. Um, yeah. So even, you know, even if you feel like, you know, this is not, you don't have a calling to be a nurse and anyone can't be a nurse, but to be a nurse, you have to have compassion and you have to, um, you have to have compassion and you have to have patience and those are two things that I definitely have so uh, I'm gonna put up another video soon I know I've been gone for a while and I need to do an update on my weight loss um, things have been pretty stagnant and I just jumped right back on the boat again so I'll be dropping a weight loss video this Friday I think the last time I weighed in I was like 286 pounds so we will see where I am this Friday um, Yes, and this has been asked over by Muriel. I know I kind of sound like I'm all over the place with this video. I recorded it once and I just felt like I got all off track and it took me two days to record another video. But if you like this video, you got any questions, please put them down below. Um, leave a comment. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more content about nursing just life in general um some of the things you know i'm excited to do i'm excited to go back to the movies like i know you know it's it's not safe and you know i'm not making light of the situation but i'll take my hand sanitizer i go in the daytime during matinees I want to get out and see some movies i want to take my kids like get out them out the house because they're having cabin fever Mm, I don't know when that new Wonder Woman movie is coming out because that's definitely one I want to go see. I don't know what else is coming out. Um, some of the shows I'm ready to watch is like the new season of The Crown. Don't know when that's coming out. I think that's coming out in November. But um, yeah, I'm just going to keep you guys updated just on life. You know, my channel is not really about one in thing in particular. It's just, you know, it's mainly about being a woman. Um, the things that women go through and thank you guys for listening I know I started rambling again at the end I try I try to do better y'all I'd be like this in my patient's room that's why someone be loving me because we start talking about buying penny candy next thing you know we talking you know just talking about all kind of stuff I just get in there and start rambling and rambling just like this um, but I would catch you guys on the next video like I said, I'm going to upload a video Friday on my weight loss, y'all. Don't judge me. Just don't judge me. Have a good night.